Hey everyone, Chris Gabbard here for thefootballographer.com, and today I'm showing you guys these really, really cool triggers. These are the Velo Freeway Fusion. I'm going to try to bring these in a little bit closer for you. Yeah, Velo Freeway Fusion wireless triggers for Nikon DSLRs. Now, these are made by a brand called, well, Velo, and the parent company is called Gratis Group. But either way, these triggers are actually quite affordable. The receiver here runs on AA batteries, and the transmitter here runs on regular watch batteries like that. So why am I so excited about these triggers? First off, their affordability. They're around $100. They're small, as you see right here. My only problem with them is that they do not have TTL metering built in. But, I mean, beggars can't be choosers when you're around the $100 range. But there's more than that. First off, let me show you the interface of them. This receiver goes on the flash, just like that. Gets locked into place. Now, if I want to turn this on, let me bring that in closer for you. I'm going to turn it on to group A, just like that. And now the red dot is on, showing that it's ready. Or I can turn it to B or C. But for the moment, I'm going to turn it on to A, just like so. No, that is B. There we go. A. Now to turn this little thing on, all I do is I hold this down. Sorry, no. <laughs> Power button right there. Hold that down like that, and now it comes on. Now if I want to switch channels, just press, press again, press again, press again. I want it to be on A, and there we go. Now it's on A. So let's test these and make sure that they work. And let's show that you guys that it works. There you go. So also make sure that your flash is in manual mode. These do not have TTL, so it needs to be in manual mode in order to fire. Now I'm going to put the transmitter onto my D5100, and this is the Tamron 17-50 to 28 right they have on here. It's an awesome, awesome lens, actually. And let's prove to you guys, once again, that it works. So, uh... And one more time. Yeah, you guys were able to see that. Not a problem. Now here's the other cool thing about these triggers. Let's say you're into shooting with a remote of some sort. So this will come off just like that. And then I'm going to turn it off by holding the button down there. Now the receiver has two different pins at the side. There's one, ports rather, and there's two right there. So since I'm using the D5100, I'm going to take this cable right here. And these cables come with the package, actually. package looks like this, right here. And then there's another cable right here, too, for different types of flashes. I'll show you that later in a bit. But either way, this, which is the receiver, is now going to go, in to go in my hot shoe, like so. It doesn't really need to go into the hot shoe at all, because, I mean, this, that's dead weight right there. That's, there's no pins at all to er interact with the Nikon camera at all. But this then plugs into the side here, and let's plug that in, just like so. Camera's on, and trigger's on, and now we're going to turn this on. And we're going to show you how this works right here. So, come on. Okay, now it's on. And now, focusing. It's a wireless remote. Works really, really well. And that's really about it for the Velo triggers. They work well. They're built, oh, as it still goes off, they're built relatively well. I mean, this is one 
uh, transmitter. It's really, really small. Versus something like the Fotex wireless triggers, I mean, the Fotex wireless triggers are beyond this, and the company even admits that. The Fotex wireless triggers, to be honest with you, are really, really good, and these are really, really good for what they do. The versatility and the build quality, the cost, everything really, really suits very well for its target market. The people that are looking for affordable wireless triggers don't necessarily want TTL or maybe are learning, so they'll use manual flash instead. But either way, I mean, you get a whole bunch with them too. You get different cables. These ones are for the higher-end DSLRs. And then this one right in here has two male inputs. And then you get another one for other flashes. Some of them have a port just like that that you can plug it into. So that's it, guys. These are the Velo Freeway Fusion wireless triggers. You can get them at B&H Photo, and that's really about it. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate you watching.